Okay, this video is going to be to help you to use your Canon webcam in multiple programs at the same time. The main thing to remember here is the first program that you open that looks at webcams, for example, Zoom, Teams, OBS, Discord, anything that looks at webcams, if it automatically engages your Canon DSLR camera, then that feed is being used in that program solely. You, if you open up any additional programs after that, you can't use the same camera again in those feeds. So the first thing, the very important thing is to turn off all the software on your computer, close down the Teams and make sure in the taskbar you right click and quit the program. The first program you want to open is OBS. When you open OBS, that will engage your Canon camera just as I am doing now. That means any additional programs opened up afterwards won't be able to access the Canon camera. That's when you do the secondary steps. I'll show you that now. Currently with the Canon tool, you can only use it in one location. So for example, I'm using this Canon webcam right now in here. If I wanted to use it in another program, it's going to tell me you can't do it because I've already got the feed. So I've got a handy little workaround for you though. As you know, I use OBS. Right now, this is the OBS window. You can see my microphone plugged in and moving just about here. So the main thing here is in tools, you have a few additional options. One of them is called virtual cam. You select virtual cam. I have it to auto start every time it turns on. What that means is my current view in OBS becomes a virtual camera, which is the OBS screen. So the main thing you want to think about here is when you get your camera set up, set it up in OBS. Get OBS. I did a full guide about how to use OBS. You're going to add your camera, your Canon EOS webcam as a camera in OBS. And then you're going to use other programs to look at OBS as your camera, which means you can end up using your camera in OBS to live stream to YouTube. At the same time, you can use the same camera in Zoom the same camera which you couldn't previously use. Let me show you that exactly how I mean. So if I go back to my screen, here I can see that my current camera, let me turn that off, is here, Canon. If I turn that on, you can see a little view of me here on top of the screen. So now I want to open up another session of, let's say, well, let me first show you how to get rid of the bars. So right now on the Canon camera here, I have a secondary Canon camera setup, which is on the side shot here. That is basically, you can probably see my arm coming out there of the camera. Yes, yeah, so there's another camera from a secondary location. So this camera originally had black bars, which I'm bringing out right now to show you exactly how. So you can see on the video here, there's a black bar. What you, what you do to get rid of the black bar is you press Alt on your mouse. You hold the side of the, let me show you my screen, only screen. And the can, you can normally do it by, for example, this camera. I'm using the Alt key. I'm holding, dragging that out. Alt, hold and drag that out. So now you can see there's the black bars. The black bars are still present. All you need to do on your computer, if it's a Windows, is hold the Alt key down. Move it in so the black bars no longer show, just like I'm doing there. So that is the camera now. So that is getting rid of the black bars. Then you'll get something looking like this. Now we want to use this in another program. Let me open up, open up Teams. I'll open up Teams and show you how I can use this camera on Teams and on OBS for recording on a live stream, which means you can use it multiple times. I use it for live streaming to YouTube, Reddit at the same time, same camera. So now if I go into my Teams, which I can show you on my screen right about now, I bring up my Teams. That is my team session right there. So if I do settings and do a team settings and then devices in this drop down, you'll see I'm already using it. It's got one called OBS camera. That was a virtual camera in OBS. Select that. And right now in teams, you can probably see this on screen. You are seeing exactly the camera that my OBS is seeing. So if I had multiple scenes in OBS, I could switch between each different scene and that would also switch on my Teams session, which means I only have to control one location on one camera. And also the best thing about this is, let me show you, uh, oh, okay, that copied that information over. Let me get rid of that text just by doing delete. And let's go back to the wide shot. So right now in this wide shot, if I was to do twin cam, and do my screen instead of my background. That's my top down view there. Let's do my screen. So that's my screen. At the same time, I could add in 
the screen slightly lower there. Uh, let's open up Teams. So now you're seeing the Teams, you're seeing the same screen. So that means that we have a feed into Teams with a plain, no sidebars for a meeting in Zoom. How good is that? So basically we've been able to set up the camera in OBS. We make OBS settings virtual camera turn on and then any other software that you're looking to cam add your camera and you add OBS virtual camera. Now this is a little bit of a step around the, the bars basically. We want to stop the bars showing up on your camera. So that's a helpful little video. What I'm going to do is if you wanted to just get rid of the black bars, I did a separate video about that here, but this is more of a view to get your camera being used multiple times in live streaming and making the best of it. I'll see you on the next video.